hello guys welcome back to another atmop tutorial in this video here i am going to show you how to display a simple banner art from atmop in your android application so the first step of integrating and add a unit is to integrate google mobile as sdk i already done it in the first video of this tutorial series i will put the link of that video in the description so here in this project here i already integrate the google mobile as sdk and within the main activity here I initialize the mobile ads SDK. Now I am going to place a banner ad from AdMob in this application. So here I am going to display the banner ad through the layout file. So in this project there is only one activity that is the main activity and here is the layout file for the main activity. Shift it into design mode. Now there is only one text view is available in this layout. So we are going to delete that text view. Now at the bottom of this layout, I am going to place a banner ad from AdMob. For that, on the left side, select Google and drag the ad view to this layout. Align at the bottom. Now create a constraint at the right side. At the left side, also create one at the bottom side. So this is an attribute from AdMob. Now select the split option. So this is the XML code for this layout. At the bottom of this file, we place an attribute. Now we have to specify this attribute is a banner ad. For that, we can use this constraint app that is, that is specified as a resource auto. By using that constraint, we can specify the add size. So this is a banner ad. Specify that one as banner. Now we have to specify the add unit ID. So for a real, appli a real application, you have to create an application in the AdMob dashboard. Then you have to create add unit. After creating an add unit, you will get an add unit ID from AdMob. But for testing purpose, do not use the real add unit ID. For testing purpose, we can use test add unit ID from AdMob. So we need to get a test add unit ID for banner ad. For that, open your browser and search for AdMob test ads. Go to the first link on this official documentation page. These are the sample ID unit ID for AdMob ID units. Here we are going to implement a banner ad. So this is the sample ID unit ID for banner ad. Copy this one. And by using the XML constraint app, we can specify the ID unit ID. Add unit ID. And paste it here. So now at the bottom of this file, we place a banner ad from AdMob. Now here I am going to specify some margin at the bottom of the banner. Layout margin bottom into 10 dB. Now shift it into design mode. So here we place a banner ad from AdMob at the bottom of this layout file. Now we can load add on this banner add unit so go to main activity so first thing you have to initialize the google mobile ads sdk now i'm going to create some variables for add view now i'm going to initialize that variable and add view equal to find the view by id and the view now create some variables for add request new add request builder and call the build method on it Now we can load the add unit, we can load the banner add, so m add view dot load add, call the method load add and pass the add request. 
So now here we successfully integrate a simple banner right from AdMob and display an ad on it. Now we can test it. So for testing it, here I am going to start some virtual device. Okay, now the virtual device is ready. Now I am going to run the application. Okay, now the application available on this virtual device and here at the bottom of this layout we got a simple banner at from AdMob. Now I close the application and open it again. And here is the sample AdMob banner from AdMob. So this is how we display a simple banner act from AtMob in our Android application. I hope you understand the concept. If you have any doubt, please mention it on the comment section below. And if you like this video, please like it and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.